Janet, and the woman who drives you nuts. <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> and I enjoy every second of it. <laughs> now, Janet, Janet's really been, when I was first became Poet Laureate back in 2010, she did a video of me at Remembrance Day. She sent it to me, and I had met her before that, but only in passing, and then we became we friends. No, oh, yeah, that's it. back when I was oh, thank you. a fairly heavy drinker. <laughs> I had my moments here and there, and poor old Janet. <laughs> anyway, she uh, she became my right hand girl. She really helped me do everything I had to do while I was poet laureate. She helped me with everything I I need to do this, I need to do that. I say Janet, she was just wonderful. You always have a place in my heart, Janet. Yeah. And she still <laughs> continues to help me. And the funny thing is, I expect it. <laughs> it's crazy how you get used to stuff. <laughs> anyway, next up we have another very, very talented poet here in our midst. She is uh, from, I believe she lives in Vancouver, but she is the writer in residence for the city of Richmond. She has some fabulous poetry. Cynthia Sharp, please come up. <laughs> Having me here, it was such a treat to hear Rod's poetry, to hear Candace and Janet and Amico. And um, I'm assuming people can hear me, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I teach yeah. high school, so I can get pretty loud. Um, so I have some fall poems, but also kind of the theme of the day has been love. I mean, Rod set such an incredible mood for love, love lost, love held. Um, so I have to go to my love poems, too. Um, so this is The Summer We Never Had. In the summer we never had, there is time for endless evenings of coffee and poetry amid the spark of fireflies in the city heat. As voices from late night gatherings on porches drift in open windows, I no longer pretend we're in my room just to study. We are no longer pending on outside approval, only the potential we elevate in each other. In the summer we never had, I don't have to be anything more than I am. And it doesn't matter that my hair finds its way into dreadlocks. There is red wine and passion, daisies that last the night. My single bed is luxurious enough, and I never have to get over you. I taste forever how it would have been, and never 